The Hover Air X1 was one of my favorite tech products of 2023. It's a fully autonomous flying selfie camera, and amazing as it was, it did leave some room for improvement. I have a feeling there's an X2 in the works, and if that's true, here's what I'd like to see in terms of upgrades. In my opinion, the biggest weakness of the X1 was the video quality. It does 2.7K30, but it's not a very good 2.7K30. While the video quality was good enough for social media, it did fall below the quality of even the fairly modest DJI Mini 2 SE and far below any modern action camera. The Insta360 GO 2 has the same maximum resolution and it's known for its small size but not really for its video quality and yet the footage on that looks a lot better than the X1. So I hope the X2 will have greatly improved video. If they can get a nice 4K sensor in there, that's great, but I hope they won't use a crappy 4K sensor just to be able to market it as having 4K. High quality 2.7K is better than terrible looking 4K. For me, another weakness of the X1 was its inability to fly over water or smooth surfaces like fresh snow. It relied entirely on its VPS to hold its position. This meant I couldn't take it out on my kayak trips or when trekking over snow in the winter. If they can put a GPS chip in the X2, it'll be able to fly over any surface. And if they do add GPS, it would automatically bring another improvement, an increase in altitude. The X1 maxes out at 15 meters because it relies on the visual positioning system. Switching to satellites would allow it to go much higher, get more useful aerial shots, and even do zoom outs from rooftops and other tall places that are not possible with the X1. I didn't really have a problem with the 11 minute flight time of the X1, but if they can stretch that to 15 minutes or even 13 without making the device any bigger, it would be very much appreciated. I love how small the X1 is. It easily fits in my back jeans pocket and that's the way I hope it will stay. When companies that make devices like this bump up the specs, it's very common for them to also bump up the size. The Go 2 was bigger than the Go 1, the Go 3 was even bigger, the Pocket 2 became the chunkier Pocket 3, the X3 became the larger X4. Action cameras are getting massive now and don't even start me on phones. I really really hope the X2 won't be any larger than the X1. At the time of this video, the X1 is priced at 469 US dollars, which compared to DJI's latest Mini 4 is a bargain, but the DJI Mini 2 SE is still available and priced at just 259 US dollars. Compared to the X1, that has much better video quality, can fly up to 5 real world kilometers away, runs for 25 minutes on a charge, comes with a controller and has GPS. You get a lot for just 259 and that's just 55% of the cost of an X1, but the X1 is so much more convenient convenient and fast to get shots with. It's also tiny and that's why I choose it over a proper drone whenever I want to get a shot of myself doing something. And so I'm willing to spend a bit more to get that simplicity and portability. But after having used it for a year and taken hundreds of shots, I agree with some that say the video quality isn't really good enough to justify the 469 price. And so I think the X2 would sell by the truckload if they could greatly improve the video quality and get the price down to say 399. I doubt that's going to happen because companies rarely add higher specs at the same time as slashing prices, but I just think that number 399 would be much more appealing to people who like the idea of this product but are on the fence because of the price. So that's my wish list and some of my thoughts. I hope it's true that there's an X2 on the way and that it will have a better sensor and be able to fly over water. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you heard any rumors about the X2 that I haven't mentioned? Is there a feature the X1 was missing that kept you from buying it? Let's discuss in the comments section. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.